All right, guys. Welcome to the Friday phone tips here. My name is Ryan Urbanski. I'm very honored to be in the studio helping you guys out. We are going to start. That's an awesome song, by the way. Uh, that gets me fired up in the morning. Um, so we're going to start off talking about, you know, how we can get better on the phones and how we're some tips that may help you guys out uh, get better and be done dialing so we're not dialing all day. So uh, the first tip is, first and foremost, you got to buy your leads. Got to have your leads ready the night before. It's very, very, very important. Print it out, ready to go. Um, so that doesn't mean, you know, scrambling, dial day, trying to get everything together. You know, you want your mind right going into dial day, just knowing that you have the confidence to book and you are prepared. So that is, that's the first tip that I would give you guys. The second tip is make sure you got enough, right? If you want to run a full day, you cannot um, shortcut this. You know, you always have more leads than what you need. Very, very important. Third tip, I'm going to tell you, you got to have a planner. So the planner kind of follows your schedule. Because when you have a schedule to follow every single day, you know how to set yourself up correctly. So I get into the office. If it's a Monday, I am in the office by 7 a.m., okay, and I'm ready to hit the phones at 7.30. It's very important. I, I can't tell you, if you guys want to get done before 12 and have all your appointments done, you got to get there early. You can't hop on the phones at 8 o'clock because... Just by hopping on the phones at 7.30, that extra half an hour, that's going to give you an extra two to three appointments, you know, so you're already ahead of the eight ball. And when you start start booking a half an hour, you're on a roll. It just it, You just carry that momentum, you know, through your dial day. So definitely have a planner. Make sure you schedule out. If you're going to dial for the next day, make sure you have a planner so you can see eight, you know, if you're going to start at 8 a.m. or 9 a.m., I always book every hour. If it's a internet or final expense, every hour on the hour. If it's a mortgage protection appointment, every hour and a half. So very, very important. Um, and also when I'm booking, I'm going to be honest with you guys. You know, when you start booking solid appointments where you just, you know, they're going to be home when they're, you know, you, you ask them, you know, is there street parking or is there a driveway and they're receptive and they're answering questions you know, I'll star it or I'll rate it. You know, I've heard Andrew Taylor say it time in and time out. He rates his appointments one through five. If I have a weak appointment or maybe, you know, I just got a, a feeling that they may not be home or they're just trying to get me off the phone, you know, I'll still go to it. But if they're not home, what I'll do is I will I'll basically superset it, meaning that, you know, I'll, I'll book another appointment and it'll, I'll be like the cable guy. So when I'm booking that appointment, maybe somebody's retired and they're going to be home for a while. You know, I will tell them, hey, look, you know, any reason you wouldn't be home between 1 and 3 or would you prefer, you know, 9 to 11? So that way I, I have a window of time I can get to that next person in case I get no show. So the uh, I think we're on step number four, which is tip four, is you got to make sure that your confidence is is there throughout the entire time you're dialing. You know, posture is a big thing when you're on the phones um, because if you sound like you just lost your best friend and you're trying to book an appointment, nobody wants to be around negativity. So it's very, very important that, you know, I'm not saying you've got to feel like you just fell from cloud. You know, you just, you know, you just jumped off the Empire State Building and you're, you know, you got the thrill of your life. But, you know, keep that same mellow level tone, if they are very monotone, you got to mimic them. Dom Dominic Rogers, I watched his uh, podcast not too long ago. He was talking about, you know, if Mary's 80 years old and she, you know, sounds like um, she just, you know, she hasn't even had her cup of coffee, like, I'm going to meet Mary where she's at, you know. But if Jack sounds like he just got off a jackhammer, like, I, I, I'm going to, you know, meet Jack where he's at. So very, very important to meet people where they're at. Your posture on the phone, look, you know, do you have to come out? If you're setting in-home appointments, yes, I have to come out. You know, there due to this pandemic, there's been a lot of fraud going on. People are trying to get insurance in other people's names. 
the uh, insurance companies just want me to come out to verify that, you know, you're not hospitalized, you know, that you're alive and well. So does 9 or 11 o'clock work better for you? So very important that you posture yourself and just understand that even top producers, people that book a lot of appointments in a short amount of time, we get pushback. So make sure that you are, you know, you're handling the rebuttals and you're you're learning them. And if you get a new one, write them down and call your upline, you know, or be around people in an office that are going to help you guys get better. So that is a uh, very, very um, big tip. And I hope you uh, wrote that down because nobody's perfect and we always are learning together. And it doesn't matter. I'm just going to be honest with you, whether this is, you know, we just went through the COVID-19 and now we're going through some other stuff in this world. And there's always going to be something that that comes up, you know. So you always just got to understand the importance of getting this information out to these people that are requesting help and helping them. So that's my mindset is, hey, they filled out a form. I'm coming over, you know. Oh, well, you know, can you put me down for, you know, next week? Like, I, I'm going to be honest, lady. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm not quite sure where I'm going to be at, to, you know, in two days, let alone next week. So, but I'm going to be out in your area tomorrow. Um, you know, what time are you, you usually home from work? Oh, four o'clock. Okay. Well, I can't do four or five o'clock work for you. Perfect. I'll see you at five. So, um, very important to posture yourself and just realize that when you get somebody on the phone, the chances of you getting them back on the phone can be uh, very, very difficult. So take that as a blessing that you got them on the phone and just go out there and serve and help the families. So look guys, I'm gonna be honest with you. I think that's, uh, that's about my time. And uh, again, subscribed FFL National. This is a great place to work. If you guys got any questions, you can always reach out to me, um, Ryan underscore Urbanski, or you can give me a call on my phone, 410-878-5134. But let's make it a big day, guys. Mm-hmm.